Breaking news! A new virus has been discovered. And uh, now it only appears to infect people who hang around fathers. Okay, and uh, it's being called the Groner virus. Get it? Get it? Yeah, it's a dad joke. Okay, uh, but real breaking news. Yes, real this time. I uh, IKEA. Are you uh, you craving them IKEA meatballs? Well, IKEA has released their meatball recipe. So you know you don't have to uh, hop over. I don't think you can anyway. Actually, maybe you can. Um, so you don't have to go into store and uh, you know because you definitely can't sit there and eat them. Um, but yes, so the recipe is now out. There you go. It looks like one of their instruction manuals. And yeah, you can uh, make your own. But of course, I'm sure they left out the secret ingredient. Mm, what is it? I don't know. It's child labor, obviously. They're, you know, those little hands. They mold much better meatballs. Mm, yep. But don't worry, it's all made with love. Yeah, that's the other recipe, other ingredient that they left out. Um, but yeah, apart from that, it's uh, beef and pork, onions, garlic, breadcrumbs. Yeah, nothing, nothing too extraordinary. No weird mousse pheromones or you know, Swedish special sauces. A shame, really. Yeah, so you can make this along with your beaten Dalgona coffee. All right, so you're welcome. Go nuts. Actually, yeah, you can. You can. Have you tried adding nuts to your meatballs instead of breadcrumbs? Crush some almonds or something. Okay, moving along. So our Korean lesson. Okay. So you wanna read this one? Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's go. What's this? It's chal. J-A-L Jal So uh, Jal in Korean is like uh, you know, It's good Okay Okay And what's this one? It might look a little familiar Yeah, I had to squeeze uh, them a little bit So this is Mok And if you remember Mok is Consume Eat Okay So ooh, It's got something to do with food Okay And what's this one? This is Guess no, not, not guess what it is. It, it's pronounced guess. G-E-S-S. -S, guess. <laughs> okay. Okay, and what's this one? What, what's you drinking? A part of soup. Okay. Okay, and this one? It's a simple one. What's the, what's the L? It's an N. Ni Da. Okay. Alright, let's put it together. Jal. Mokes. Soup ni da. Okay, so what does this phrase mean? Okay, uh, it's something you say when the food has been served. The steaming hot meatballs. Yeah, and when they're in front of you and you are about to eat. And it's uh, like saying something like, uh, thank you for the meal. It's like a Korean blessing. Yeah, you can say, you can think of it like that. Uh, but it's also, yeah, you're thanking whoever cooked the meal for you uh, and you're telling them that you will enjoy them you will enjoy the food you will eat well okay so yeah so uh, yeah we went through you know just how, how do you say you're hungry it sounds like an item of food bego payo bego payo I'm hungry okay and then after you get the food you're like jal moges subnida thank you I will enjoy this food alright Chal mok es subnita. Okay. Okay, moving along. So, we're on the topic of food. Now, I'm sure you guys may have seen this. This, this may be, I don't know. Um, but yes, uh, you know, as, as always, uh, we want to eat healthy. And of course, there has been the trend of uh, taking consuming brown rice. Well, this is more like black rice, really. But... Um, yeah, so there has been, you know, ongoing um, debate among people, which one's better, which one's good for you. And generally, you know, when it comes to carbs, uh, like other carbs, like breads and pasta, potatoes, 
And uh, you know, usually the idea is the browner it is, the better for you it is, right? You know, they're, they're like, oh, don't get white bread. Oh, white white bread is for like plebs. Now nah, you gotta get the the whole meal, wheat grain six thing, whatever. You know, you gotta get the the, the stuff that is like super crunchy, and you know, not that fun to eat. Yeah, if I'm being honest, but somewhere in the middle, okay, like whole grain, sure, you know, I can take that. Yeah, but I don't want I don't want my bread to be full of like you know like little like like grains. I want it to be like bread. You know, I don't want it to like have like pepita and quinoa and pumpkin seed. And I mean, I'm okay. Like a little bit is nice, but you know, at some point, it's just like I'm eating a muesli bar here. I'm eating a whole loaf of muesli. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, uh, same with pasta. You know, like you know, all the durum wheat and stuff. Okay. Um, so now, unfortunately, it isn't always true for rice. Yes. So while it is true, yes, that white rice uh, does contain less nutrients, right, uh, compared to the brown, their brown uh, friends, uh, it has been found that brown having too much brown rice is actually not so good for you. Yeah, I mean, if, I guess if you think about it, you know, us Asians we've been eating ri like rice, and it's been white rice, right, for like you know centuries probably more than centuries, right? Millennia. Right? And we turned out okay. Yeah. Right? Um, but yes, uh, so the question, is brown rice really healthier? So, okay, first we go back. We look at how is white rice, your body digested? a lot faster and that's why white rice has a higher glycemic index so I mentioned this glycemic index yesterday uh, so it's got to do with basically how quickly your body breaks down those carbs how and how quickly your blood sugar level shoots up right so a lower glycemic index is better for us because it keeps us full longer and it doesn't it doesn't spike our blood sugar as quickly okay so yes so that's why you know there was all the craze you know oh yes we should like eat brown rice it's better you know eat like brown everything so our body takes a bit longer you know we don't want don't want too many simple sugars in our diet which is fair enough okay uh, so uh, the issue though with having brown rice uh, is that it contains what they are calling now anti-nutrients yes that's right so um, the, it's probably a little bit I find it a bit misleading to be calling it anti-nutrients uh, but yes, they they are called anti-nutrients because there's a substance in the uh, the husk in the bran part of the brown rice that that prevents your body from absorbing cer certain minerals like zinc and magnesium and calcium. All right, it's a bit weird. Um, so uh, yeah, so because of this, um, it's actually yeah, it's not recommended to have too much brown rice. You can have some. Uh, another another issue is also that they're saying. Um, that brown rice has a higher arsenic content. So arsenic, I don't know if you've heard, it's a mineral um, that has been used in the past as a poison. Because if you have it in too much, in too high a dose, it, it's uh, poisonous to your body. Okay. So, um, but hey, don't don't stop eating the brown rice. But what they advise is you kind of mix it, do like 50-50, uh, and they advise you soak the brown rice at least for like a day, apparently. Yeah, it's a lot of work. Huh? So, uh, yeah, you soak it so that you um, you remove some of this uh, content of this anti-nutrient. The anti-nutrient is called the phytate. Okay, it's just just terminology. Okay, so so don't get me wrong. Brown rice is not bad, right? It's just not as fabulous as uh, obviously all the marketing makes it out to be. Uh, it's just. You know, you, you gotta you gotta balance it like all things. Moderation in all things, okay? Uh, so yeah, so they they're advising that uh, you know you kind of kind of mix it up a little bit. It's okay to have white rice, you know, 
Go for the, the Basmati Long Grain. Yeah, they have this, this, nothing wrong with that. Um, but yeah, yeah, you know, variety is the spice of life, as they say. Spice, the rice of life. Yeah, so, okay. All right. So yeah, don't worry. Keep if you bought like a massive bag of brown rice, don't don't throw it out. Okay, just just give it a bit of soak, soak it. Get some of that uh, arsenic and that phytate. You know, let it let it dilute a little bit. And uh, and yeah, just mix mix it up, mix it up a little. Okay. All right. Ooh, uh, you remember this guy? Tarzan. Everyone likes Tarzan. All right. So, did you know that um, the author, yes, Tarzan's book, okay, and uh, the author, Alan Rice Burroughs, I believe his name is, I may have to look that up, um, but yes, Mr. Burroughs, he wrote many, many sequels to the original Tarzan, that's right, over 23 now, when I say sequels, I I don't mean I don't mean this. Okay, no, not 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 this. <laughs> That's not the sequel. I mean, I mean like like old school like books. So he wrote like like many 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 books. You know, um, detailing. Ah, oh, yes, that's right. Edgar Rice Burroughs. Sorry. Uh, yes, detailing Tarzan's adventures. Um, you know, following his uh, departure from the jungle. So apparently, he goes on to find out that he is uh, he he is a man named John Clayton, and he's Lord of Greystroke. Mm, okay, that's right. Um, yes, and he goes on to uh, fight the Germans in World War II. Uh, he uh, uncovers the city of gold, and he stumbles across a uh, colony of Atlantis. Ooh, the Atlanteans. Yeah, you know, teams up with Aquaman. No, wait. Is that? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, you know, and he goes on wacky adventures. Wacky adventures. Lots, lots of weird, bizarre adventures. Meet some, uh, you know, dog people. Yeah. Right. See? There you go. Okay. So, um, I don't know. If you're looking for books to read, maybe you can check it out. I uh, I cannot attest to how good these books are. Okay, all right. Now something a little bit closer to home to uh, end my little session today. So, you, any of you guys recognize this place? Yeah. No. Okay. Uh, well, it's in it's in Penang, in Malaysia, and this place is one of the the high dense flats in Padang Tembak. Also known as Rifle Range, so uh, it's a it's a suburb in Ayutam, in the in the center of Penang Island, okay, where a lot of uh, a lot of people stay. So this uh, some of these flats have been there since the 60s, 70s. Okay, they were built. Uh, they're uh, you know low cost, high dense, uh, and there are a, a lot of residents who are currently struggling, um, especially you know the more elderly ones who are not so mobile and maybe you know not not so capable of cooking for themselves. Okay, so what's happening is a lot of them are receiving aid. Okay, so here's what's happening in rifle range, uh, especially if, if you pass by hundreds of people are coming down every day to receive free, free food. All right, and the local council, a lot of uh, you know Good Samaritans are cooking, preparing food and distributing it to these these people. Okay, so you know, um, I don't know. What's your what's your thoughts on this? What's your initial reaction? Well, you know, it's fair enough. A lot of people have concerns, right? It's a bit of a grey area, right? Because uh, on the one hand, of course, you don't want to neglect these people. You don't want to leave them to uh, wither away, right? People got to eat. Um, but on the other hand, you know, it's uh, it's uh, obviously a hotbed for uh, infection, right? If someone catches, someone coughs a little bit. Everyone catches it, right? Because these guys are coming out every day. I mean, yes. So they are. They are saying yes, definitely. You know, they're all wearing a mask. Most of them are maintaining their social distancing. Yep. You know, fair enough. But you know, there's still it's a lot of congregating. We're talking about like hundreds, you know, fifty, hundred people coming down, you know, from their homes, mingling, chit chatting. You know, which uh, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a bit of a bit of a, a, a tricky, a tricky situation. 
Yes. So I don't know uh, what uh, what what solutions are there. At the moment, it looks like uh, it'll continue, uh, right? Unless uh, until you know, hopefully, fingers crossed, you know, nothing nothing happens. But you know, if if uh, the cases start to spike in this area, then you know, the government might just shut it down. I think um, perhaps we can consider uh, like food delivery instead. You know, instead of everyone coming down, maybe they can they can uh, have a, a few collection points or send it up to their doorstep. Yeah, it could be an option. Hmm. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's a there's a simple solution. Uh, otherwise, I'm guessing someone would have proposed it. Hmm. Yeah, but uh, apart from that, I I think uh, everyone in Penang is uh, keeping well, right? Doing all right. At least we're getting some rain now. Thank you to whoever is uh, doing that rain dance. Yeah. Uh, rain gods have well and truly heard you, and we all thank you. Hmm. Okay. All right. Uh, yeah. In the meantime, let me know how you doing. Hanging in there, all right? Okay, and uh, ooh, maybe I'll try and make some of that some of them IKEA meatballs. Ah, oh, but the problem is I don't have the lingonberry sauce. I guess I'll just have to make do with like strawberry, flambois. Yeah. Okay. All right. Sam out. Have a good one. Toodles.